And we are back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create arrows. Let us just create a line. I use this Bezier tool for that. And I hold control to have a straight line. Make sure that this line is selected, then go to object and open your fill and stroke menu. Make sure on a stroke paint that you've got this flat color activated and you can give it any color you want. I'll just make it black. Let me increase the width so that we can see properly. Two millimeters should be fine. We've got a start point on the left hand side and an end point on the right. We can still size it up and you can see that the arrowhead and the starting point, they get resized as well. So depending on the width, these sizes are adjusted automatically. We've got a midpoint and you can see that we can't see anything here. It's because we don't have a node at the midpoint. Let me right click and duplicate this arrow and I get back to the first one, so the one on top. And now I use the node tool and I simply double click on the line to create a new node. So I've got three now, it's still selected. And now I can set this midpoint, give it for example a circle or even create these distance lines that you may want to use for technical drawings. So how can we create a curved arrows? Simply with the node tool again, but this time I don't double click, I just click and then drag. So I don't create a new node, I'll just create this curve. If I double click, I will have created a new node and we can see these typical handles that we can use to adjust it. But make sure that it's a smooth anchor point. So if you can't see the handles, just go to the top menu and make it smooth. If I select it and delete it, I can still readjust this curvature via the handles of the start and the end node. And this is how you can create arrows in Inkscape. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.